headed to Soul Cycle this morning. Very excited. Are you excited? Yes. He, he all of a sudden likes Soul Cycle. <laughs> this is what you do to your hair when it's very dirty. Two, two braids to see what it looks like when we come out. Maybe a little bit of eclectic. All right, we just left the Soul Cycle class, could not film in there. Super sweaty, really good workout. The last one that we did was amazing. Her name is Sydney, so shout out to Sydney from, I forget where she, she just is one of the trainers in LA or the instructors. She does all the classes all around LA. I don't know if she goes like at any particular one, but she's awesome. The class that we were just at was good, but uh, the music, like I didn't connect to the music, and I think like a normal Yelp reviewer would be like, you know what, it sucked, I didn't like the music, but me, I would say every instructor probably has their craft and their music and it's just like them and there's people that connect to it and then there's people that don't and I'm just one of those people that connected to the other girl instead of the person that we are at today. I used to be like a spin junkie. I'm gonna insert a picture right here where I did my first um, competition prep. It was my second competition prep. I did my prep myself. I did spin like four or five times a week and then I just removed all of the muscle that I had on my legs and it was gross. But I love spinning. I almost became a became an instructor until I started doing bikini competitions so who knows what would have happened maybe I would have been a soul cycle instructor when I got here but either way I can totally see how the music and the vibe of the class really makes makes or breaks it so if you guys are interested in soul cycle I do highly recommend it because I love going to spin it's like 45 minutes of just cardio and it's great and it's really nice lots of sweat feels good you don't have to think in classes like you don't have to do anything except do what they say and they just talk you through it the whole time. Absolutely love it. So that's my review. And I would just go around to a couple different instructors and see who you like best. Like don't just do it based off of the first time you have an instructor because you might just not vibe with their music. So check it out. We're gonna have some cafe gratitude for lunch. And I'm gonna get the infinite salad maybe. No, I don't know. I'll let you know. Yum, yum, yum. So mine has tempeh, blackened, quinoa, rice, yams, veggies, and some sauce, I think. It looks so good. A great source of fat and protein, all natural, very low carb, and then Amanda got... All the carb. Some carby carb. Oh, wow. Is that a sweet potato down there? Sweet potato, rice, Ooh, It's a yam. You're gonna have to eat some of this. I know what it is about this tempeh, but it's... Like, really good. Okay, we've been so hesitant towards getting a TV because, um, well, I don't know. First, we broke it, and then second, we broke your TV that we, you brought all the way it. across the country. Brian broke it by accident. <laughs> it fell, basically, when we were moving. We were like, we don't need one. We're gonna just work all the time. And now I'm in this place where I am working during the day, and I'm trying to like schedule my day where I'm not actually working late at night, which is like, the last few years as an entrepreneur, I've just like, oh, I'll work all night and I'll just work all day and work all night and like, I'll just work, work, work. And that's so not healthy. And I've been trying to reschedule my weeks and my days. And we've actually been doing a lot of unwinding and TVing. And it's just been like in bed or on my laptop. And we're like, you know what, let's get a TV. Let's do it. So we got one. And it's a big one. Woohoo! So excited. Pull it out or just like pull it out straight? Yay! It's our TV. <laughs> oh, it's great. I love it. What up? What up, guys? Something I wanted to talk about to you guys today was a little bit on scheduling things that I thought were awesome in the beginning of entrepreneurship and things that I don't think are so awesome now. So when I first got started with entrepreneurship, I was very enticed by the whole let's work whenever the heck I want idea. And it was great until I started working all day and all night and I had like no boundaries on when I was working, when I wasn't working. Go ahead. Oh, is that really loud? Kinda. <laughs> 
think I feel like you were trying to be quiet. <laughs> just like, what? And honestly, when you are just getting started, it feels like there's always something to do. It feels like there's always something you could be working on or always something you could start creating or always something that you could be fixing or whatever it is. And to be completely honest, that just completely burnt me out. And I realized that it's usually between six and seven, like focused, focused hours. That's even kind of a stretch, maybe even five or six focused work that actually moves the needle forward with what you're trying to do and the extra time is just like fluff and you're sitting at your computer like i should be doing stuff but i'm just gonna scroll social media and like watch videos and pretend to keep up with everybody and that's gonna be helping my business but it's really not it's not like the work that you have to do and i'd imagine that even if you're working in a cube you're in an office and you have eight hour work days or nine hour work days how many hours are you actually getting really great work done i'd imagine like a lot of you guys are probably watching this video at work and that's not you getting work done, which is okay, but trust me, I used to think that the more time I spent working and the more effort that I put in would mean more results for me and that's not true anymore. So what I've done this week is like rework my entire week. So yesterday in this video was Saturday, today's Sunday. You guys saw like my off day and Saturdays are gonna be off days for me for now on. They used to be like maybe work days, maybe not. Now they're just like off, Brian and I go do something fun, we try something new, we'll go on a date night, he filmed the date night, I didn't do that, but if you wanna go see it on his channel, it's there. But we'll do something fun during the day, and then on Monday through Friday, I'm usually working. I have specific times where during the week, I'm only recording podcasts on certain days. I'm only filming YouTube videos on certain days. I'm only taking meetings at certain times of the day and stuff like that. So just keep myself organized. If you're full-time entrepreneurs now and you're full-time coaches or something and you feel like you could always be working and you have no boundaries, I would focus on creating some for yourself, even if it's one or two. Like Mondays, I only do this thing. Or between eight and 12, I only do this thing usually Monday through Friday it's work sometimes Thursdays is like a free day because I like Sundays to be a work day I love coming to the office on Sundays I always come usually it's a workout in the morning and then it is office between 12 and around 7 I'll work between 12 and about 4 30 and then I have my group coaching call for my influencer Academy students from 4 30 to 6 o'clock or so mostly every Sunday sometimes on Mondays dependent on the week so a little update on the influencer Academy for you guys so this Saturday is my second official live event and I am so excited. We've been working so hard on making this one bigger and better than the last one. We have amazing speakers coming in and I'm just mind blown that a lot of them are just doing it as a favor for me, which is just like so, so exciting. I cannot wait to meet everybody in person again. It just makes me so happy. We do three of them a year. So if you are in the program once you get to come to one and then you can continue to get the coaching if you wanna to come to new ones. So right now it's only for my students. And then if you're a student, you also get access to the live event and to Fitness Online Coaching Academy as well. So you get like the whole full suite of Amanda Bucci things. So I haven't talked too much about the program on here on YouTube just because we've been doing a lot of reworking since we launched in March. So things that have changed on the outside is just a lot of like our, I guess, messaging and who it's actually for. So in the beginning, I think a lot of people thought it was just for like how to grow social media and it's not that at all. That is a foundational part of what it is, but it's really learning how to craft your messaging, clarify your story, create your systems that will build your business and create like a thriving being sustainable business for yourself working as an online fitness coach or entrepreneur and people in our program have a lot of different things that they do but I teach every single thing that you could possibly need in order to have a thriving sustainable long-term business online so it's super amazing but that was kind of like the messaging we changed on the outside and on the inside we did change a couple of things because there's a few things that we saw worked really well and then a few things we saw that could be improved so things that we saw working really well was to have newbies and veterans in the same group. So like they can help each other and it feels really good for the veterans to be able to teach so they can learn more. When you're teaching something, you learn it better and it gets ingrained in your body and your mind more. And then when you're a newbie, it really helps to have other people who have already gone through what you're going through. It's really encouraging. But the way that it's structured is gonna be a little bit different on the inside because what we're gonna do is launch and have a few groups of people starting at the same time. What that means is that we want people to kind of start at the same time and then finish at the same time, but we also want people to be veterans and newbies in the same group together. What we're gonna be doing to solve that is essentially just have a launch 
for a group of people to start on the same date. So what we're gonna be doing is opening up applications. The link is in the description if you think that this is a good fit for you and you wanna apply. We are closing off applications once we get our qualified students that fit the amount of people that we want to be in the group. Once we get those people, it'll be closed off for that start date of October 28th. So that is when the next class of Influencer Academy students is going to begin. Just to clarify again, the program is for people who want to build a business. It's for people that have already thought about building a business, maybe even already tried to, but they're just getting started. They know it's something that they wanna do. It's not just for people who wanna learn how to grow their social media. It is the full suite of everything you need to know. I have put everything that I have learned into this program. So if you guys are ready for that, that is something that you should apply for below. I would imagine less people are applying because it's not for everybody. That is what my YouTube channel and podcast is for. If you guys are interested in growing social media entrepreneurship business, I'm gonna be sharing lots more on that because it seems as though after that survey that you guys took, a lot of you guys are interested in this stuff. You guys seem to be liking the videos, even though the views on that kind of video were lower. I think it's just because of the transition and I'm like not super worried about it at all. Last and final update, Pencils of Promise is going so, so well. There was some confusion in my last video about the money that it takes to bring people out there that are running the campaign. So it does take $35,000 to build the school. I don't have the details yet from the organization itself. I emailed them immediately after seeing comments on the last video, but it does not take $15,000 just to send two people out into the field. I would imagine that would be the cost of everybody that they need to bring out into the field, all the resources, the materials, like the airfare for like a team of people to go, not just two people who are running the campaign, if that makes sense. I will get details for you guys before I give another announcement, but I think there was just, a, just some confusion there in terms of what the 15,000 extra dollars would be going towards, I will let you guys know they've been an organization for quite a while now, and I am sure that they know what they're doing and that they're not just spending $15,000 to send two people out into the field for no reason. I am sure there's plenty more meaning and explanation behind that. So that's just for you guys to know. Um, I will totally get back to you once I have a concrete answer from Susie. She's our contact person, our point person for this project. Otherwise, I just wanna say thank you so much to everybody who's already donated their time, their money, their influence and their impact to share this out and to donate themselves. I love you guys. I, I will catch you guys in the next video. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. See you guys on Friday. Bye.